continuing to learn about the heroes of the faith this week. And this is a list of heroes that we find in the book of Hebrews in chapter 11. This week we're going to talk about a hero and I want you to guess who he is. So I'm going to give you four clues. Let's see how many clues you need before you know who this person is. Okay, clue number one. He and his wife had a son when they were both very old. Clue number two. This man is mentioned in nine verses in Hebrews 11. He had a lot of faith. Clue three. God changed this man's name and made it a little longer. And clue number four. We sing a song about him that goes like this. Do you know who it is yet? That's right, we are going to talk about Abraham. Abraham was a man with huge faith. God called Abraham by name. Abraham. And when he did, Abraham always answered. Here I am. When God said go, Abraham said. I'll go. When God said stay, Abraham said, I'll stay. Abraham's huge faith was no accident. His faith was huge because he trusted and obeyed God, no matter what. The more Abraham trusted and obeyed God, the bigger his faith got. God loved Abraham and noticed his huge faith. God promised Abraham his family line would have lots of people, and he would be the father of many nations, and even kings would come from his family line. God always keeps his promises. After many years, God gave Abraham a son named Isaac. Hi, I'm Isaac. Abraham loved Isaac very much because Isaac reminded him of God's great promises. In fact, God told Abraham that his big family line would come through Isaac. This made Abraham very happy. One day, God spoke to Abraham. Abraham, here I am. Go and take Isaac with you. I know you love him very much. I want you to take him to a mountain and sacrifice him as an offering to me. God was right. Abraham did love Isaac very much. God's command made Abraham very sad. But even though he didn't understand why God would ask him to sacrifice Isaac, Abraham knew God could be trusted. He knew God would always provide. He knew God could do anything, and God would find a way to make things right. Abraham chose to obey God, no matter what. The next morning, Abraham chopped some wood. Then he set out with Isaac. On the third day of their journey, Abraham saw the mountain. There it is, son. That is where we'll offer our sacrifice and worship God. Dad, I have the wood and you have the fire, but we don't have an animal. What are we going to sacrifice? God will provide for the offering, son. God will provide. As they walked, Abraham thought about all God had promised. Abraham loved Isaac. Isaac was a gift from God. God promised through Isaac, Abraham would become the father of many people. How would that promise come about now? Still, Abraham loved and trusted God. And Abraham's faith was so huge. He knew God could make a way, even when Abraham didn't understand. God will provide. When the two of them arrived at the top of the mountain, Abraham built an altar and placed wood on it. He tied Isaac's hands and feet and laid him on top of the wood. He reached for his knife, and as he did, an angel called to him. Abraham, Abraham. Yes, here I am. Don't harm the boy. God has seen how much you trust him. You're willing to give anything for God, even your own son. Abraham looked up. He saw a ram caught in a bush. See? God will provide! Abraham and Isaac made a sacrifice to God, and they worshiped together. Again, the angel spoke. The Lord says that because you obeyed him, even in this very hard thing, he promises you that he'll bless you and all your children and grandchildren, your whole family, forever. There will be so many in your family, they'll be more than the grains of sand on a beach. They'll have victory in battle. They'll all remember the faith that you have shown. Your huge faith has made God very happy. Abraham and Isaac traveled back home. And even though all of this happened a very long time ago, we still remember Abraham today. That's because every time we think of huge faith, we think of him. Yes, Abraham's faith was huge, huge enough to do anything for God. 
trusted God, even to the point of going up the mountain with his own son, he knew that God loved him. And God did not make Abraham sacrifice his own son. But you know what? God did sacrifice his son. God sent his son, Jesus, to die for you and to die for me so that we could spend forever with him in heaven, so that we can be his friends here on earth, so that we can talk to him whenever we need to. And that is where I put my faith today. I put my faith in Jesus. All right, we are going to play a game with Nico and Abby. In this game, there are three boxes. You can see what are in the boxes, but Abby is not going to be able to see. This is what she sees. So Abby, you can come in now. Stand behind the table. Here. Very good. Oh, we cannot see your head. Hi, perfect. <laughs> There's Abby. Okay, Abby, this is the way the game works. You get to choose one box. Okay, whatever is in the box, you get to keep. Now you are working with Nico, so whatever is in the box, you can both keep. Nico can see the boxes, but you can't. But Nico's not gonna choose. You are going to choose, even though you can't see. All right. Okay, sound good? Yes. yes. Do you know which box you want to choose? Um, three? No, wait, two. Box number two? Yes. Okay, very good. Do you wanna ask Nico before you choose that box? Nico, you can tell her the box number, or just point your finger on the top of the box that you think she should choose. All right, we're going to try it again. Nico, now think. This is going to be the prize for both of you. So put your finger on the box that you think Abby should choose. Okay. Okay, now Abby, it is totally your choice. You can choose the box that has the star on it, or you can choose the box that Nico recommends. Which one are you gonna choose? Um, maybe this one. Why are you gonna choose that one instead of the one with the star on it? Because he can actually see what's inside it. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's see if you picked a good box. First, turn over box number one. This is not your prize. Turn it over and see what you think. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Okay. Look at box number two, the one with the star on it. Okay, that is also not your prize. So far, so good. Turn over box number three. This is your prize. It's for you and Nicholas to share. Oh. What is it? It's a TV. Yeah, it's 30 minutes of screen time. Okay, very good. You made a good team, congratulations. You can go ahead and take your screen time tickets out. And we learned an important lesson. It's good to trust the person who can see what's actually going on. Right, kids? Yes. yes. But mom. Now, does God know everything that's going to happen? Yes. Does he know what's going to happen tomorrow? Yes. Do you? No. So should you listen to him? Yes. Very good. And that is faith. <laughs> Yay! But mom, are, are, are we actually... Our memory verse this week is John 3.16. You might already know this verse, but it is never old news that the God of the universe sent his son to take my place and pay for my sins so that I can be with him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish
Than whoever burns 